Happy holidays. It's Kevin from California Travel, aka California Capers, and I'm here for a holiday Christmas beer tasting with my lovely wife Jocelyn and my brother Garrett. Hey. Garrick is actually a food, drink, and travel writer, so he's got some experience in knowing the good stuff. So we're going to try eight different beers, grade them Ooh. 1 through 10, mystery tasting, and we're going to see which one's the best and let you know. Mystery beer number one, raise your glasses. We have no idea what it is. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Cheers. Okay. All right, let's see. Toasty and toasty. Roasty, toasty, yep. right? Chocolatey. You got a little hints of chocolate there? Okay. Mm -hmm. Just coming in from out of the snow. Uh, around yeah. the fireplace. Yeah, that's true. It gives you it does nice. Those will do it for you. Which we have none of that in most of Southern California. <laughs> <laughs> but the idea that it brings you in your imagination is perfect. This first beer, mystery beer number one. What would you say out of one out of ten? You grade it for a winter warmer. I'm gonna give it a solid six. I would also give it a six. I think it has a great punch at first, but then it kind of falls short. The aftertaste is bothering me a little bit. Maybe because it's not as cold as you like it. That's not the beer's fault. But I'm going to drop down to a five. Ooh, so I feel bad. I'm also with a six. I just want to go with three sixes. Might be a bad sign for Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's so true. We'll go. We'll go. That's a try. Yes. Yeah. I got the nice little Krampus in the corner of the museum. Yeah. All right, so this mystery beer number one was the, actually, the Ooh. Fireside Chat. <laughs> yeah. Like the late drum roll, still good enough. <laughs> it is from the 21st Amendment Brewery. Very clever there. Up in SF, my hood. And this is the one that's brewed in San Leandro, is that you say it? San Le Leandro, across the bay, yeah. Say it one more time. San Leandro. San Leandro. Okay, I'm just going to jump from SF. Garrick is actually from the Bay Area, right in the heart of San Francisco. Where it does snow. Or it feels like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> coldest, coldest winter was a summer in San Francisco, right? Have you been to this brewery? Just curious. I have. It's great. Highly recommend it. Nice. Okay. Well, not for my no, five, but still. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, mystery beer number two. And I love that this time I don't know what I'm drinking either, but it's obviously one of these fantastic winter Christmas beers. Here we go, guys. Cheers again. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Thank you. Took a sniff of this one. It was pleasant. Smooth. Oh. Smooth. This one does not insist very upon itself. <laughs> <laughs> this one says, I'll give you time to get used to me. No, very smooth, very easy drinking. Definitely some more booze on this one. Yeah. What do you say, Jocelyn? I'm not tasting it. <laughs> <laughs> Last one you said was good and kind of fell short. This one mm -hmm. didn't come correct at all. No, not for me. I, I taste the aftertaste of that one in this one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with Jocelyn. I think we understand she's not going to be closer to the tent. You just finished it, by the way. I'm going to finish it because I had a long day. I would give this one a five. It's still drinkable, but be not honest. for holiday. It's not a holiday. See, I, I, I felt holiday. What Derek, is. what would you say? Uh, 7.5, if we could do that. Yeah. Well, you, you're, you're breaking the fourth rule. So for me, with six, I would say six plus, but I like that it's smooth. I like that it has substance. It's not like drinking the, no offense, a Coors or a Bud Light that has nothing going on. Um, but I see what you're saying. You maybe were hoping for some spices. Yeah. This is the Christmas Ale Breckridge Brewery from Colorado. So not representing California, but I actually I like it. Would I get it again? Yes, I would. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah? No problem. Put on put on the warm sweater. Warm your tummy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what? Bundle up on the inside. Bundle up on the inside. Yeah. All right, Colorado, you know what you're doing. All right, here we are. This is on number three, right? Number three? Number three. Number okay, three. starting to lose count. We're having a good time here. <laughs> so number three, mystery beer for Christmas. Here we a go. mystery beer? I don't need your critics. <laughs> okay, here we go. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. cheers. Okay. I enjoyed the last one, but as far as the whole spices thing, That's this one. That's delicious. This one's got the little sugar plums dancing that on your tongue. Is the, yeah, that there. keeps things merry and bright. That is delicious. It's got some tingle on the tongue. It tingles what? I'm sorry? <laughs> this is a family beer show. Yeah, I'm liking it. I, I definitely feel the spices. I feel like it's, it hits you and then it kind of moves to a different flavor than another flavor, right? It's kind of like a little conveyor belt. Oh, flavors. that's great. Solid eight for me. I do like this one. I do like this one, but you know, my nose is really sensitive. Okay. So. What are you picking up? What are you picking up? <laughs> so like dog food? I, that's to me. I'm going to defend the beer. I don't even know what it is, but it's nowhere near dog food. Okay, let's start with this. Do you like dog food? Yeah, yes. <laughs> so this is really good. It, I would give this a seven. I would give this a seven. I sense pity. Jocelyn's giving it a seven. She's enjoying the caramel notes. Mm -hmm. She's not enjoying the aroma, which has hints of dog food. No. <laughs> uh... Garrick, how are you feeling? Solid eight. It's, uh, Solid like I said, eight. makes things merry and bright. It's got some nice crisp effervescence with all the caramel. 
Chris and Spice is on the back end. You said it best. I can't even uh, top that. So I'm going to go with a solid eight as well. And what is the strongest beer that we love that smells a little funny? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, inquiring minds want to know. I bring some dog food too, actually. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this beer is, is, want you know it, this is, I didn't want to say this, the nice, the niche, Schuf. Uh, I don't know. This is Le Schuf, normally Le Schuf, but it's their Christmas sale. This is actually from Belgium, a true import from Belgium. One of my favorites. It's a strong one. It packs a punch. 10% alcohol, by the way, 10%. That'll help. So that, that'll make your bowl run, right? So there you go. Love the niche, niche, nice, Schuf, whatever the Schuf, but it is fantastic and it is so far the top beer. Okay, so mystery beer number four. So uh, let's go with cheers. And it definitely smells hot. That's how you say cheers in Hungarian. All right, let's go. But no, as you taste it, I don't taste Christmas. I taste... I taste a lot of citrus. A lot of citrus. I'm going to echo food. exactly what Jocelyn said on the yeah. last one. Delicious. Don't taste Christmas. I don't, don't taste, taste Christmas. Christmas. Don't taste Christmas This is not all. Christmas. This tastes great fruity. You come into my house and you don't bring the Christmas. <laughs> yeah. So not Christmas. I think we all mm -hmm. agree on that one. Mm -hmm. But is it enjoyable? Oh, yeah. Oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. This is definitely... This would be more of a summer beer. Well, what's that little dude from Frozen? Olaf, Olaf. Olaf, in summer, he would love this beer, but not the Christmas one. So this non-Christmas beer that is citrusy and still enjoyable, what for would we give it? For a summer beer, I would give it a 10 if it was nice and chilled and probably in a chill. I like the disclaimer. For yeah. a summer beer? Yeah. Well, yeah. You were sure. Did you say yeah. a 10? Yeah. You said a 10. I would. Yeah. I like citrus. That's a bold statement right yeah. there. Garrick, what would you say for this non-Christmassy summer beer? Very enjoyable. Enjoyable. Eight. Yeah. Eight. Or you can buy it for me for Christmas. But I won't drink it until summer. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you, I was not lying. I was a little offended, but when I put it to my mouth and there was no Christmas, it was kind of like, it's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas is canceled. I mean, but year. is it? I'm going to have to write a letter to the manager. So I'm going down to a five. No! I'm sorry. Your old factory works better than mine. Back to Olaf. <laughs> right? Back to Olaf. But I have been known to say, Jocelyn, what is that? Oh, that smells delicious. She's like, oh, is that burgers? And she's like, no, that's tar. <laughs> True story. So yeah. let's see this. This is again Frosty the Haze Man, as Garrick was showing us here. Cool packaging, kind of fun, catches mm -hmm. your eye. But uh, as far as packaging and marketing goes, I'm going to say you're, uh, you're a phony. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, mystery beer number five. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, guys. Okay. Salud. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I was saying it tastes like the potato and molasses song. It's like the, okay, over the garden wall for those that don't get the obscure reference. <laughs> Potatoes and molasses. Mm -hmm. By the way, we haven't called it out yet. If you're noticing, uh, rocking our Christmas vacation, jolliest bunch of a-holes this side of the nut house. Uh, Garrick's got the, uh, the, the shitter's full for uh, Christmas vacation. My brother Garrick, by the way, love him, but uh, surprise, just learned a few moments ago, he has never seen Christmas Vacation. So yeah, in, it's in its completion. In its completion. And Justin, of course, rocking her awesomeness. Uh, vintage. You know, I love it. It is lit up on top. So, is this from Whoville or what would you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Kitchmas tree is from La Casa de Flores. Oh, yes. We have a family story with someone else having a plant growing from their head. Just from <laughs> <laughs> but that's for another time. <laughs> Keep following for that story. <laughs> Hair looks fantastic. Look, I did all five of my hairs. <laughs> So, okay, here we go. We're liking this one. Garrett finished it. So you like? Okay, what's going on over here? What are you feeling on this on this second chance here? It's an easy sipper, for sure. Uh, easy sipper. Yeah. It's got some spice and some citrus. It's a, it's a conditional seven. It's when I'm in the mood for sevens. I think this is mood dependent. It's it's very unique. I've never tasted anything like this. So here's what I will say. L little, uh, almost like a little candy aroma. No? If I, I had to up? guess what a poinsettia plant tasted like, I would say it's this. They're poisonous, aren't they? I don't know. That's <laughs> why I said if done. I had to guess. It's got sweetness. I would say that this, like is, a, this is a Christmassy. This is a Christmassy plant. I get Christmas. I think yeah, this is I what get poinsettia. beer might taste like in a holiday animation. Yeah. <laughs> All the animation, right? I this think, is mm -hmm. Rudolph in the land of breweries. If I was inside of an anim mm -hmm. holiday animation, this is what the beer would taste like. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> we said we kind of said it's almost like a Christmas beer, but before Thanksgiving Christmas beer, it's yeah. like a, a pre-season. It's right? not punch you over the head with spices. It's, sure. it's okay. definitely a little bit lighter. Easy drinking. Okay, so Garrett gave it a seven. What would you say? I say an eight plus. Eight plus, yeah. right? Yeah. I like the pluses. 
Okay, so you know what? I feeling an eight. I don't know if it was plus worthy, but I'm feeling an eight. So I like mm -hmm. that. So this one's coming in strong. And the mystery beer is. Rich. <laughs> I love how you're waiting. Oh! So Shinerbot coming in, surprising yeah. us all. This wow. was um. What's the pecan? And there you were all the time. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Texas. Peaches and pecans. Peaches. Mm, Peaches and pecans. Potatoes okay. and molasses. Is that what you said? Is it potatoes and molasses? Okay. Peaches yeah. and pecans. Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> same thing. Yeah. Well, cheers to Shinerbach for uh, pleasantly surprising us. Yep. Do, do they have a Bud Michelobin Miller Christmas <laughs> selection? <laughs> well, yeah. this, this is the closest. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> like sprink like they sprinkle in some cinnamon. Yeah. Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we are on our uh, sixth beer out of our eight beers now. Mystery beer. This one's looking dark, the right color. Let's go ahead. Cheers. Cheers, cheers to this one. Cheers. Okay. 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 Oh, this that's is a heavy like a, header. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, this is more like that's a stouty. That's a heavy header. Like, this like guy says, on the edge. <laughs> come with me, I'm going to show you gravity. Right. This is what they say Guinness would be. This is a very much like, it's coating you. It's like a pe uh, Pepto Bismol commercial where you see it going through your digestive this system. This is a hungry I man meal. Say, okay, but but also, you know, I like stouts and like darker beers. You're and a chocolate like porter so kind of I actually gel. feel like this is lighter. Roasting than toast. Ooh. Could be. Well, that's true. Yeah. Okay. That is true. Yeah. I, I, I totally I like agree it. with that. This would right. be a one beer beer. In a warming way. It's a one hitter quitter. One in, a, in a internal uh, mm -hmm. bundle up way. I like this one. Just because. We don't want to be shy about it. It's a good beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do. I like it. I'm just saying. I like it. So right. I would give this I would give this one probably a 10, just like I did Ooh, with okay. number four. <clears throat> so now that's the Christmas spirit. The yeah. fact that I like this beer, I'm offended that you gave it a ten and the other one a ten. So that's right. the one that I gave a five, but it's that's, like the haze. That's not a me problem. That's, yeah, <laughs> that's just a personal opinion. I like that. Okay, so Garrick, what are you feeling with this? Uh, this strong, but not too strong. No, this one gets me in the spirit for sure. Nine, no question. Ooh. If, if I'm sitting around the uh, the holiday time, sitting around yeah. the fire, getting in the spirit, solid nine. That's some heft. <sighs> mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said, yeah, it definitely, it brings it. It definitely brings it. I'm going to go with a nine. I'm being shy in the 10. I'm going with a nine. Okay, so what is this beer that, no lie, is full on warm me up and inside? This mystery beer is? Highest score so far. Oh! This mystery beer is actually one of my favorites. So it's funny, I didn't give it a 10. It is the good old St. Bernardus from Belgium. Look at this. It's in the big mm -hmm. old 750 liter. Who's the die on the cover? It's just a monk. The label. Santa Claus. It's, uh, well, he's on all the St. Bernardus, you know, there's different ones. But uh, the Christmas sale here, like, he's loving it, he's happy, we're he's happy. Loving it. Mm -hmm. uh, this the one, cheeks are rosier in this one. 10% alcohol, so you do not mess around with this one. You drink this bottle, you're, it's going to be a, it's gonna be a silent night. <laughs> <laughs> it is, uh, it's fantastic though. It's uh, warm, cozy, and really inviting to enjoy together with friends or family. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> we did it right. Mm -hmm. Loving the beer. Cheers mm -hmm. to Belgium on that one. Cheers. Here we are on beer number seven, mystery beer. Here we go, guys. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Again. Salud. Okay. Garrick's been... It's got some funk. <laughs> oh, yeah. Say, it smells right? like weed. That, that is, it smells dank. It smells like weed. It's, but when you drink it, you're expecting something kind of sharp to hit you. It doesn't hit you. It's smoother. The lighter beer, as you can this see. This is very good. It's a little hoppy for you me. Got the hoppy. I think yes. that's the funky smell. Yeah. No, 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 you're right. right? It, it, has, it's, it has a bitter it body. It does, yeah. So, and so, for all the folks out there, like mm -hmm. Garrick here, you, you've come to love IPAs. Mm -hmm. Joss and I have just not quite joined that bandwagon yet. And it's not a big, at all. the West Coast is all about the hops and the IPAs. Mm -hmm. I do not understand. This, to me, it tastes like another summer beer. There's not a hint of Christmas? Not like a little Christmas? No. no? I smelled weed when I first smelled it. <laughs> yeah. Like Christmas weed? It's closer to Hanukkah, maybe? <laughs> but ultimately, not Christmas. No, very similar not Christmas. very similar to what we saw at beer number four, which was the Frosty the Haze Correct. Man. But this one is like, not only not Christmas, Correct. but it's pretty damn, pretty doggone funky. It is pretty right. doggone But you're enjoying it. If a bartender said, hey, take a sniff of this or a taster, I'd you smell it. Pass. Pass. I say pass. Mm -hmm. But then I actually, you, you actually take a sip. And then you say pass the Ducci. I would. <laughs> yes. <laughs> On the right hand side. So okay. I will give this one a seven. I still drink That's this. pretty high. Yeah. yeah For I not just, liking a beer, yeah. a seven's pretty high. Garrick, what are you feeling now? 
Eight. Yeah, because I, like I love this beer. Mm-hmm. I do agree with Joss that it's not overwhelmingly Christmas in the mm-hmm. winter warmer style, which what a lot sure. of these beers are. No, no question. If you mm-hmm. want the winter warmers, go with some of the other ones we rated high, like the St. Bernardus. Mm-hmm. But this is funky and interesting and delicious, and I think just enough spice to uh, warrant round the, round the Christmas tree. I'm going to go with a seven. I like it, don't love it. Yeah. I'm also just going through some personal problems right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the mystery beer number seven was, looking for on the list here, I believe it's this guy. Mm-hmm. It's a Pede Noel. He's hugging a big hop. Santa's crop just came in his harvest. <laughs> Santa's That's where good, the bank comes right? from. Well, how does he fly, you ask me. This is from Belgium, actually. So oh, we've yeah. had three Belgian beers now. I couldn't drive a video game right now. Okay, <laughs> so. Feeling good. We are here. We got pretzels. We're on mm-hmm. beer number eight. Let's go with cheers. Feeling cheers. good, guys. Hey. Okay, okay. Merry Christmas. I will drink this. If I was sitting on a beer any given day, I'm drinking this beer. Easy drinking. Easy drinking. Easy drinking. No question. Watching the brown, the red area. Yeah. But uh, not a holiday beer. Holiday factor. No. Not at all. No. It doesn't have a sharpness. It's more creamy mm-hmm. and smooth. Sure. And some of that sharpness in these other ones came from the spices. So that's what's missing. That's why it doesn't scream uh, Christmas necessarily. But it is a colder weather beer, in my opinion. I wouldn't drink this by the pool. I wouldn't drink this uh, when the sun is shining. I wouldn't drink this in shorts. I would drink <laughs> this around the campfire. I drink. Okay. This, I would drink this in the woods. I can see that. Yes, right. camping. So winter this is warmer. A good camping it's a winter beer. warmer. Yeah. And I guess this is obvious, but we define the Christmas beers by the spices. Mm-hmm. So in, in our minds, I guess a Christmas sure. beer is a beer that has spices and a couple of caramel mm-hmm. or something else going on, but it can't just be regular beer. Okay. Well, I want to say six, but the Christmas beer took me over. I'm going to say seven. All right, sure. God bless us all our beers. I'm actually going to go ding, 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 Vegas. We got three sevens here. Mm-hmm. So we have sevens across the board. Yeah. All right, I think process of elimination, we already know what this one is. Uh, However, this one is going to be, I haven't been mentioned, Anderson Valley Winter Solstice Seasonal Ale. So let's see what they got going here. Anderson Valley, are you normally a fan of the regular beer? Huge, massive fan. Hmm. Yeah, and Garrick was telling us that I guess I haven't really uh, spent a lot of time there. You're saying it's a fantastic place and they have their own language? Anderson Valley is insanely scenic in between uh, mm-hmm. Sonoma County and on your way to the coast in Mendocino County. Mm-hmm. And there's this gorgeous, essentially wine country, but the town of uh, Boonville, Boonville yeah, is developed name? their own language called Bootling, which is unlike any other language uh, I, I can't even think. But when you enter the town, they have the sign written in Bootling, which only a couple old timers know at this point. All right, so after all these beers, we're just gonna stick to all the eight. We all enjoy them in our different ways, like that. We obviously got a good variety of taste buds here because mm-hmm. he loves some, I didn't love some, he loves some. And so that's fantastic. You got a nice little uh, view there. Who do you trust more? <laughs> right? <laughs> it comes down to it. I would trust Garrick actually because I've already talked about my olfactory being broken. Number three out of all the eight, coming in at number three was straight from Belgium. The Neat Le Chouf, right? Straight from Belgium. Delicious. That one just, it brought Christmas for sure. It was delicious. Sure. We love that one. Uh, once you know, Cinderella story coming at number two <laughs> is the Texas Shinerbach. None of us saw that coming. And I'll tell you, that's the best part about a blind taste test is because we probably would have yeah. wrote that one yeah. off, but all the little prejudices were aside and we were delighted. You said you've never tasted something like that before. And you drink their beer. Mm-hmm. And uh, Shinerbach from Texas coming in at number two. And number one, back to our friends from Belgium to Texas. Back to Belgium. St. Bernard's Christmas Sale. Mm-hmm. We just love this one. This is a strong one, 10% alcohol. That is our number one Christmas beer, as it should be. It's a fantastic beer. Mm-hmm. Be mm-hmm. warned. Again, it is strong. It can put you to sleep. But if you're snuggling up with a loved one by the fireplace, it is fantastic. Well, that's it. Uh, Thanks for joining us in this awesome beer tasting, the mystery beers here. Uh, Garrick, my brother, hope to see more of him here uh, and all his great, awesome travel writing and such, right? Look for that. My lovely Josh, you'll see a lot more of her here. And uh, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, guys. Thanks for spending some time with us and joining some beers with us. And cheers. Cheers. To the holiday season. I have nothing left in my glass. Cheers. (laughs) Best to you all, guys. Love you. Take care.